Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the Kings of Coffee. I am Rusty with the Kings of Coffee and today we're going to be doing the unboxing of a brand new burr grinder called the Rancilio Burr Grinder with Doser. Um, basically here we've been using our old grinder a lot which is a Gaggia MDF grinder as you can see over here in the corner. Uh, I've had that since so 2014. January, February 2014, so about seven and a half years. It's been a really great grinder, but it's time to replace it, and I'm going to tell you why. As a lot of people understand during the pandemic, a lot of our coffee habits and practices changed. Uh, to be more specific, prior to the pandemic, I would say that we used our grinder maybe twice a week, and generally then it was on the weekends, if that. But once the pandemic started, and, you know, Denise and I were both working from home, the burr grinder really got an awful lot of use. Actually, everything did. You know, the espresso maker got a lot of use. Um, Denise's drip coffee maker got a lot of use. But this burr grinder, I think, took the brunt of that use. More specifically, because we drink two different types of coffee, well, we don't drink two different types of coffee. We have two different types of brewing methods. Uh, espresso for me, uh, drip for Denise we have to grind beans at different settings for each one. So if you can imagine, now all of a sudden you got two people working from home, you know, for the better part of a year and a half. Uh, this particular grinder was now being used twice a day, sometimes three, four times a day. A, a genuine workhorse, but really it goes from you know, two times a week to two or three times a day. So being that it's a little over seven years old, everything that I can can gather online indicates that this type of grinder should last you, you know, between five and ten years. I know that we were heavy users of it. Also the doser, which is the little handle on the side, the spring on that puppy popped. And I think it's time that we actually change it. Hence this video and why we're going to be doing uh, an unboxing. If you don't know the reason why a, a burr grinder is the way to go, please check out one of the videos that we did some time ago. I'll put a card up somewhere around here, but it's the importance of grinding your coffee fresh and then the type of grinder. So in our opinion, a burr grinder is much better than a blade grinder, and that particular video will tell you why. There are a couple ways to know when you need to change your grinder. Um, one of them is visually if the coffee looks different. For me, I do a really fine grind for my espresso roast, and if it starts looking less fine and a little bigger, if you will, that's a sign that the burrs aren't doing the job that they used to do seven years ago. So your coffee may taste a little different because the grind itself is different. Uh, you may see some mechanical things. Like I said, our you know, spring loader stopped working some time ago, but if it starts making more noise or acting in a way that doesn't seem normal, that could be an indicator. Mind you, there are ways to clean a burr grinder, and there's a lot of good content online to do that. I probably didn't clean mine frequently enough, there's also a way of cleaning your burr grinder that uses something that looks like coffee beans, but I believe they're white. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, you can order these from Whole Latte Love. You're going to hear me mention Whole Latte Love uh, a couple of times here in this video because I believe that they're the best source for prosumer as well as professional, which, which I'm not, but prosumer grade gear. You definitely want to at least consider them. So without further ado, let's take a look at the new Rancilio grinder. We're going to unbox it right here for you. And through the magic of some really good video editing, I should be able to snap my finger and see, snap my finger and see this grinder. Uh, hello, I'm going to need a little help here. How about we do a clap and we put the new grinder right here. You ready? Clap with me now. Look at there. There it is. Really big box. Um, this thing has got a little weight on it. It says right here that it's 18 pounds. Now, to be honest, the Gaggia MDF is heavy too, so a burr grinder is, it has a really heavy base, obviously, and that's a good sign because it means that you have high quality metal in there doing your grinding. So this is the outer box, obviously. Again, got it from Whole Latte Love. Let's crack it open and see what it looks like. Here we go, the box inside the box. Let's open this guy up. Hey, 
There you go. Look at that. She is a beauty. Move that box. So here we have it. We have the Rancilio Burr Grinder on the side. You can see the doser, which is right here. Nice spring coil there. Interesting, when you take the cord out, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but if you look closely, you can actually see some coffee in there from where they do a test grind, which is pretty cool. And again, very heavy. You got your coffee in here, and you have your segments in here, your burr grinders in the bottom. So we have a lid here. It should be this guy. Should go something like this. Perfect. So your beans go in the top, and when you coffee is, is grinded, it goes right in here, and this is how you dispense it, utilizing your porta filter. It goes right there. Love the kind of smoke blue glass that you see here in here. Um, again, very solid design. I don't know if you can see the rocker switch on the bottom. The on-off switch is there. You can see here where you get to change up your, your settings. I don't know if you can, right here at the top is where you change your settings for the type of grind that you want. The, the Rancilio is actually a little bit bigger than the Gaggia. So this is the guy that's going to be replacing the Gaggia. We've been well served with that the entire time we had it. But I'm looking forward to this new Rancilio burr grinder with doser. So guys, that's it. That's it for the unboxing. As you can see, the Rancilio is in place. It's in the coffee station now where the old Gaggia was. I'm going to take some time to find the right setting for the type of espresso that I like. Uh, find the right setting for Dee for the type of drip coffee that she likes. And we'll start putting it through his paces and over the over the weeks and months to come we'll let you know how that is is doing uh, if I didn't mention it and I probably didn't this particular grinder cost I believe four hundred and fifteen dollars I'll put a link to it in the description uh, it is the doser version the doser less version I think it's five or ten bucks less um, but I got this from whole latte love and like I mentioned earlier if you don't know about them they're really really great for prosumer grade coffee things supplies courses you name it and professional a lot of professional gear there that we at the kings of coffee can't afford to get but maybe you can the point i want to make about whole latte love and this isn't sponsored at all is that they just do a good job of helping you elevate your coffee game and you know that what we do here at kings of coffee is you want to bring you straight information about the things that we like and about the things that we find and over the years whole latte love has been extremely good to us and patient with us as we try to up our own coffee game and learn all the ins and outs. Their how-to videos on how to clean an espresso maker, you know, how to use a back flush system, right? How to get something like this, Kaviza. If you've never heard of Kaviza, and I hadn't, can you see it there? Right. This is excellent for what I use to clean my espresso machine as well as the coffee pot. We go to whole latte love for things like these. You know, the, the baskets for the espresso maker, the, all the different types, as well as things like this. Looks like a basket, but it's actually a back flush system. We use that to help clean the espresso maker. Got that from Whole Lot They Love. And then lastly, as we try to get our frothing game up, we had to get one of these, right? A frothing thermometer that tells you exactly what the temperature of your steamed milk is going to be. So. While you're out there cruising the World Wide Web and looking at things, take some time and go by Whole Latte Love. If you have questions, make sure you call them. Check out their, their tutorials and their videos. They're, they're, they're very, very good, and we're glad to be able to continue our relationship with them. We got the original burr grinder from Whole Latte Love in 2014. Uh, we also got this, this Gaggia Classic um, from there as well. Last thing I'm going to say is that when you think about grinding, um, it's a matter of personal taste whether you want your grinder separate from your machine. I personally like that. We did an unboxing some time ago, I believe it was of a Breville, and they make different types of machines, but the particular Breville that we unboxed, and I'll put a link to the card here, it actually had the grinder attached to the machine. And that's okay too, it's a great way to get started, but me personally I like to keep the grinder separate from the espresso maker, and that way if either one of them has a problem, or need some maintenance or anything, I don't have to shut down the entire station for just that one thing. I'll give you one PS, one little Easter egg. 
it's quite possible that the next unboxing that I do is to replace this Gaggia Classic espresso maker, my all-time favorite machine. She's doing real well right now, but uh, I may have to replace it. Stay tuned. We'll let you know. That's it for today. Thanks again for rocking with the channel. Kings of Coffee, really glad to be back with you. Hope to bring you some really good content over the rest of the summer. Speaking of which, if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to the channel. It goes a long way to helping us continue to bring these types of videos and good coffee messages to you. We're also on social media. Those links are in our description. I hope you continue to have a great summer. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us. All of our contact information is in the contacts below. For now, this is Rusty with the Kings of Coffee saying enjoy your coffee, take your time with it, have fun. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.